Welcome back, everybody. I'm Matt Don't Play, and today we're doing something a little different. It's still a build, but it's not a farm build. We're building a logging operation on Farming Simulator's newest map, Silver Run Forest. So what do you say? Let's get started. So originally, I wasn't going to put a house or anything like that on this build, but I saw this little triangle piece of property over here and thought it was a perfect spot for a lake house. So I added one. My thought is that this is an older business owner getting ready to retire, wanting to live out on the lake, probably passes business down to his family if they want it, but still wants to be close to the operation so he can keep an eye on it. Anyway, that's the story behind it. I'll build him a comfortable place to live, nice little shop out back, you know, for their fishing gear and all the lake gear for the grandkids. So I'll come clean right off the bat. I'm not a fan of logging. I don't play logging maps that much or ever. I have tried it. I've given it a shot, but it's just never been my thing. But I am really happy for those who do log in game. This platinum expansion is a big update for you guys. And it's maps like Silver Run that make me want to give logging another chance. So that's why I'm doing this build for you guys that do play logging maps. So feel free to leave a comment down below on what I missed, what I got wrong, and hopefully what I got right. Now we make our way over the logging yard. This is where the home of the business will be. This is a big lot and I intend to use all of it. Logging operations use a lot of equipment and need a ton of storage for those rare times when everything is in the yard. Gives me an opportunity to use some buildings that I don't usually get to use in my regular farm builds. Just like this scale shack. I'm not sure if this is something that would be used in a lumber yard, but I like the idea, so I went with it. It gives me a neat entrance to the yard and also keeps it secure, which is something I really wanted in this build, which is why I'm adding this still post fence around the perimeter of the entire property. Gotta keep those lumber thieves out of the yard. So I went ahead and just got rid of most of the grass on this property. I know I've gotten some complaints in the past about building a farm isn't just uh, throwing down gravel and placing things down, but in this build, I think it is. With all the equipment and all the buildings and shops that a lumber yard uses, I think it's only fitting just to lay gravel and start from there. So if you've played this map and been in this area, or watch me zoom around this property, you've noticed there's not a straight line to build off of, which drives my OCD brain crazy. But I'm trying to make it work, trying to make it look normal, trying to think like the business owner, how to lay it out so it works for a lumberyard and not necessarily worry about what it looks like from the road. Here's what I'm going to use for my lumber storage facilities. I really like the look of these. It looks to be like an all-in-one building. And yes, they're huge. And I have to have two of them because one is for pine and one is for spruce. I told you I'd be using this whole area up. From the very beginning, I knew I wanted to add production to this build. And I've always wanted to use this pallet warehouse, but never had a good reason until building a lumber yard. So now I just got to find a place to put it. I went with right here. I thought this was the best location instead of out in the middle, because that way the uh, trucks have an easy way to get in and out with that exit there. And then we still had room for these little sheds, which I really liked a lot. Here's another shop that I've been itching to use. I really like this design. The six pull through doors for this large equipment that I'm going to use on this build. And the green matches the other large shop that I've placed. 
Yep, I know it doesn't match the white one, but you gotta have some different buildings in there every once in a while. And speaking of different buildings, I'm trying to find the right carpentry shop for this build. I'm thinking about this one, seeing how it looks and fits. And then I have my squirrel moment where an area catches my eye that needs to be changed and I have to drop whatever I'm doing to fix it now. Okay, back to the carpentry shop. So I switched it up and I went with this one. I like the look of it better. Looks more industrial, which I like for this area. I wasn't sure what to do with this area. I thought about doing customer parking. Then I saw these lumber piles and I thought they'd go good here. Like this could be an area where customers come in, pick from the pile because this lumber couldn't be used for furniture. The logging industry's version of from farm to table. Let's see what I did there. Table, wood. Enough with my jokes, I guess. Anyway, looking at this area, the driveway was too narrow for trucks to be able to turn in. So I want to make some adjustments here. So I think I'm making it a little bit wider and adding a little bit of an angle. So that way trucks can make that turn. Hey y'all, be sure to hit that like button for me. It's such a simple and easy gesture on your part, but a big deal to my channel and other channels like mine. So make sure you let all your favorite YouTubers know you like their content by hitting that like button. And while you're in the neighborhood, join the other 1400 people who subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. So that way you know when I post other build videos. And if you have a build idea or something you wanna see me do on YouTube, leave a comment below. I enjoy subscriber feedback and some of my best videos have come from you all. So keep it up. Time to add a few decorations to add some character to this place. I thought this would be a perfect location to add some of my pallets and finished products that were made in the carpentry shop. So I finally get to use some of these cool decorations that I've downloaded in some of the other mods that I have. I've been thinking about doing something similar to a mod tutorial, but with placeables and decorations. I know some of it's self-explanatory, but it may be a mod that you never knew existed and might be just perfect for your build. So why not highlight it? So if you're a mod creator or know of any other mods out there that you think should have their own special video, let me know in the comments. And who knows, maybe it'll become a thing. And for those of you waiting for my bailing video where I bailed every field on Griffin, Indiana, well, I don't think it's gonna make it. So here's the update. At last check, I bailed 3,253 bales, and I was still going. There was at least two to three balers still running, finishing up the larger fields. So if I was to take a guess, I think I would be just under 3,500 bales total on all fields for Griffin, Indiana. Really disappointed I didn't get to finish that video series. So doing my part to give back to the environment, I thought I'd add some trees to this lumber yard. Trying to match the rest of the surroundings using pines and spruce, but definitely wanted to fill up this area. It's a natural sound barrier with the train tracks right there. And also just keep some privacy, keep people from knowing what's back there. So 
So I downloaded these gates from the mod hub for this build. Like I said earlier, I wanted this to be a secure lot. So I thought these would be a perfect addition to keep this place secure. So then I wanted to add a gate here. This won't be a customer entrance or anything. I just figured this would be an interest the owner would use since the house is across the road. So I'm going back here. I liked where the placement of the gate was, but I didn't like where the fence was at. So I'm going back, deleting a couple fence panels, then adding them back to close up the gap. A little tip for you all, if you're using a gate that doesn't match the fence and having trouble with it colliding with the side, take your fence post and run it just in front of your gate post. It'll give the look that it's connected and you'll avoid the collision warning. So give it a try on your next build. See if you like it. It's definitely made my builds better. And that wraps up the build portion. Don't click off now. This build's not over. Check this out. With the magic of editing, equipment has showed up on the yard. And something about this build told me it wouldn't be complete without showing off all the cool logging machinery. So let's start here. So I have two semis here with step deck trailers. This is part of the trucking company side of this business. These two trucks and actually four trailers We'll haul all the finished furniture and lumber off to different parts of the country. And here's the other two dry vans that I have for the trucking company. And I'm using this Peterbilt for a yard jockey. And then here inside the warehouse, I've got this electric forklift. And that should take care of the warehouse and the trucking portion of this company. Here's the other dry van, just waiting to get loaded up. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think the name of this company should be. Heading over to the open sheds now. Here's some of the original equipment that has stuck around. Looks like they started off with Volvos. Then we move over to this forklift. And then we've got a wood chipper and a yarder. There's a couple of attachments for some equipment I'll show you later. Here's a big old Komatsu forcing machine, a John Deere feller buncher, and a big John Deere skidder. That's still some of the older equipment, but since it's up front, I'm betting it gets used quite often. What's that you see inside the shop door? Those are two big front end loaders by Volvo. Those are massive machines and some of the newest equipment on the yard. How awesome does that high lift look? That's a pretty cool addition to the game. Just a quick peek into the big shop. We'll get to that here in just a second. Here's my favorite Mack truck by 82 Studios. Best truck in the game by far. There's the Volvo with the quick attach. There's another couple of TLX 9000s with low loaders on them. Another Volvo with the grapple. And as you can see, this company is stuck with Volvo pretty much the entire time. There's still some more equipment over here. Got another big Mack truck with the forestry trailer on. And another TLX 9000 over here in forestry green. Hauling another forestry trailer by Mack Trucker 921. Let me tell you. That's a sweet rig right there. Now we take a quick run, check out the last few things on the lot. Big old grapple there. Giant pallet forks for the front end loader. Couple standalone yarders up here. Some of the older equipment I'm guessing that was on the yard. And last but not least, this Flegel extension. Now we head over to the house. We take a look at that. This is a new house I haven't used before. So I thought I'd give a tour of it. Off to the retriever, and now we'll do our drive around. You know, I like doing the drive around, show you how everything fits together, lays out. This just gives me and everyone else a chance to see how everything moves around the farm and to make sure there's no areas where things can get stuck, especially when you hire those pesky hired hands. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, the flyover. There you have it. Another build in the books. This time it was a logging build. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that like button, share with a friend, comment on this and all my videos. And remember, I'm Matt Don't Play.